Five Points Gaming here, and we are going to do this now. And right now, I'm going to give you an update of my lineup as we head into Division 1 gameplay. Last video, I showed you the game where I essentially I clinched the advancement into the toughest competition yet. And man, look at the requirements for winning a Division 1 championship. 16 points. Basically, you have, and you only get 10 games, so do the math. You know, that means you either have to go 8, 2, and 0, oh, or 7, 1, and uh, 2, I think, yes, to win a Division I championship. And here's the leaderboard. I don't know how much rankings mean as a player, you know, like how good you are, but I am ranked in the top 305 in the world. And there's a variety, there's a way, there are many ways to get ranked in the top 500, I would say, and that's playing a lot, which I've done. If you look at my record, I'm only 20 games over 500. I wouldn't say that I'm uh, the greatest player, but look at how hard it is to get into Division 1. So there's 191,000 total players, and only 1,600 are currently in Division 1. So I'm not trying to toot my own horn. I'm just saying the odds are very long that you get into Division 1 when you play HUT. And if you do the math, if you just divide 1,600 by 191,000, that means that uh, I'm in the top 0.08% of players. So getting to Division 1 is, is an accomplishment just on its own. And yeah, I'm looking forward to playing the elite competition, but I, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to win a Division I championship, but I'm very happy just to be able to play. So here's the lineup. You saw there uh, Henrik Zetterberg, Joe Pavleski, and Taylor Hall. I should just call him Tyler to piss you guys. I'm kidding. And here's the second line here. Um, Chris Kreider, Derek Stepan. I call that the Ranger line, and, and Rick Nash. And then the third line, I've got James Neal, who could skate a little bit better. Ryan Kessler was a nice pickup. And JVR, James Van Reemsdyke, I call that the 87 line. And you'll notice I, I, I put a lot of power forwards out there. I like the size, the speed. I like to try to, try to beat other people up uh, out there on the ice. And then here I've, on the fourth line, I've got Blake Wheeler, Logan Couture, and Kyle Oposo. You know, I, I try to design my team to have good skaters and good shooters and... and, and uh, not worry as much about um, checking, but I, I did end up with a lot of power forwards on my team, and I'm fine with that. On the blue line here, nothing's really changed since the last video. I've got Kevin Shattenkirk, Ryan McDonough. Shattenkirk's hurt this year. Uh, Mark Giordano and Alex Petrangelo on the second uh, pairing right there. And then on the uh, third pairing, I'm going to have, and Giordano's been very good, very offensive as well. I've got Nicky Cronwall and big buff Dustin Byflugen, or Bufflin as they call him. And then Tuka Rask in the net as well. So that's my lineup. That's what got me to Division 1. I'm telling you, you do not need a stacked lineup. You need to be good to get in Division 1. I've played other teams now. Since I've done this, you know, guys with very average, you know, 85 to 86 players. And here's a couple stats right here. I just want to show you how much of a beast Henrik Zetterberg has been for me and my squad. 75 goals, 56 assists, 131 points in 238 games. So basically, a point every other game. You know, I wish I could score more, but, you know... It's tough. It's I'm, I'm not I'm not the most elite player, okay? But I am in Division One, so uh, I'm I'm looking forward to showing you a lot of my Division One games. Thanks for watching this video. Five points. I'm out.